All right, you guys, so check out how I made this colorful photocopy effect here in Photoshop. First, I'm gonna make that photocopy effect. So let's go to the layer, right click, convert to smart object. And then we're gonna go here to the colors and make sure it's on black and white. So the foreground color is gonna be black and the background color is gonna be white. Now let's go to the filter, filter gallery. And first I'm gonna go to the texture. Let's select the green. And I'm gonna go and increase the intensity nice and high. From here, let's go all the way down, click on the plus to add a new filter. And I'm gonna go to the sketches and let's select the torn edges. Here I'm gonna bump up the smoothness all the way to maximum. I'm also gonna increase the contrast. So it's gonna add that white grain in it. And with the image balance, you can adjust the contrast. I probably gotta go like this and click okay. Now we're going to add the colors. So let's go and create a new layer. I'm gonna rename this as colors. And now I'm gonna go back to the layer with the model, uncheck the filters for now, and select the subject layer. And I'm gonna go and select the object selection tool. Now this of course has been updated. So check this out, if you hover on the image with the model, you can select everything separately, all the accessories or facial parts. So for example, I'm gonna go to the headphones and as you can see, it is going to select only one part. I'm gonna click on it. It is going to select and I'm gonna press and hold shift and I'm gonna go to the other one. So now it's gonna select the other headphone as well, but it also gonna select unnecessary parts. So I'm gonna go here, select the quick selection tool and I'm gonna click on the minus and I'm gonna go and deselect these guys right here. Make sure to clean it up. And for example, here it didn't select it. So I'm gonna go click on the plus and I'm gonna add this also. All right, so now I select it 100% and I'm gonna select the color layer. And I'm gonna go and select the color. For example, I'm gonna go with a pink, click OK. And you can go and select the paint bucket tool and click on the headphone and it's gonna color it. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now you can repeat this step with every each part. All right, so after you are done, you can go back to the layers and I'm gonna go to the subject, activate the filters, and I'm gonna select the layer with the colors and let's go to blend mode and change it to multiply. I'm also gonna show you how I made the background. I'm gonna go to the layer with the subject. I'm gonna double click on the thumbnail and it's gonna open up in a new tab. Click on remove background. After this, I can go to file and click on save. Now, as you can see, this is opened up in a new tab. So we're gonna go back to the original tab. Let's go and create a solid. And I'm gonna make this yellow, click okay and drag it under the subject. And now let's go and click on the mask I'm gonna select the lasso tool and now I'm gonna go and just select these areas and I'm gonna go out all the way around, connect it, make sure that you're in the black. And with the paint bucket tool, you can go and remove the colors. Press Ctrl D and repeat the step with every each part. Now I can go and create a new solid, recolor it and drag it under the yellow, select the mask and repeat the step with the lasso tool. And this is how it's gonna look. I'm gonna select all the layers with the solid, press and hold shift, select all the layers, or right click, convert to smart object. And I'm gonna press control J to duplicate. And I'm gonna go here to the filter gallery, press and hold alt, and drag this text, the filter gallery, on this upper layer here. So it's gonna copy paste the filter on it. And I'm gonna select it. Let's go to blend mode. And I'm gonna select multiply. And there you go. And that's how you make this a retro photocopy poster here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.